morning, fellow in the peeps. I am Scarab. You're watching Scarab Gaming. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Today we are going to be playing Call of Cthulhu on the Xbox One X. And this game is very exciting to me. I remember Call of Cthulhu when it was out on uh, original Xbox. It's a different game entirely. Uh, that one, you are in a town of Innsmouth and you have to fight off the evil sea people, uh, fish men, uh, evil cult of Cthulhu. Anyway, everyone worships Dagon or Cthulhu or the Leviathan or whatever. Anyone knows HP Lovecraft knows of Cthulhu. As you can see that big, sexy, winged octopus man. I don't know what type of weird god it is, but I do know what it is, if that makes sense. Anyway, we're going to be playing this game and says enter madness instead of press start. I like that. Uh, sinking data for Call of Cthulhu. All right, it is time to play Call of Cthulhu. Here we go, empty slot. All right. So we are going to be playing as an investigator in this game, as per usual. All right, so chapter one, PS Investigations Agency, Boston. So Boston, I don't know how they say it over there, but anyway, Boston, 1924. Ooh, 1920s, good era, mafia, very heavy mafia themes back then. Maybe I should wear a fedora while playing this, I don't know. Okay, so Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. All right, so I'm guessing the case is going to send me to Innsmouth or somewhere if I am mad. It is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is, who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, oh God. Uh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, off to a great start. What is that, a dead shark? That's a rusty gate and some entrails. Blood everywhere. Oh boy. Oh, right. This is, uh... I want to look at the shark. Alright. Can I take the... Can I take the lamp? Nope. Alright. Well. Ugh. I'm gonna crouch. Alright, this is peak. That's pretty cool. Um. Oh, boy. Oh, I found a skeleton! Oh. How y'all doing, inner peeps? I have merch available if you guys are interested, and you can also donate directly to the channel, which helps me out a great deal. Especially considering I have need to fund my new setup. Oh, there's fish heads. Or oh, shark fish. Shark heads. Ugh. All right, let's get out of here. And the links to that is in the description. If you guys are interested in doing such things. All right, let's uh, open this door. Or yank at a chain that is obviously not going to come loose. Let's go this way. Hope you guys can see everything that's happening in this. Ugh. I need a lamp to light that. Okay. Then give me the lamp. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Oh, I can shine it. Shine it bright, shine it bright. All right, I picked up some bolt cutters, which will come in handy. Huh. This game is so dark. Not super dark, though, which I'm happy about. Too many horror games are, like, way too dark. Ah! I'm sorry, what? I don't like the sound of that. We're in some sort of cave. 
Can we... Can we use the bolt cutters on that, please? No? Shit! Uh, am I supposed to go that way, then? I don't like the sounds in this game! They're kind of scary! They're leaving me feeling very disturbed. What a putrid offering. Okay. Is it... Is it you, Cthulhu? Dagon, is that you? My liege, my lord! Are you lending me your voice so that I succumb to madness and bow before you? <laughs> you have been chosen. It's telling me to run. I don't like it when it's telling me to run. I don't like it when horror games tell me to run. It's always a bad thing. No. Ah! Everything has already been written. Um, okay, weird, creepy heads. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Uh... Uh, oh! Whoa, hey, 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 oh, no, 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 don't, no touch! Bad touch! Creepy octopus man! Don't, don't do that! God damn! Well, that just happened! Fuck, alright! What's this? battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Oh, okay, it's not courage. Sad soldier. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. Okay, so you're gonna repeat stuff. That's good to know. I have no idea if this song is copyright and I don't care. It's my jam! The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I'm sure it doesn't. What's in here? Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation has been closed. Huh. Well, you'd think that if your wife leaves you, she'd say something, right? Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I can't stand people that ghost other people. Like, it's just immature. I should get rid of all this stuff. I probably should get rid of all this stuff, but I won't! So I want to hold on to it. Oh, but I was enjoying that. <gasps> no! No phone! I'm trying to read stuff! It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh. Pierce Investigation Agency! The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, my memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Um, probably Cthulhu. Or Cthulhu, or whatever you want to call it. What is this? Aha! This is some sort of skill tree! We have strength, eloquence, bot hidden, investigation, occultism, medicine, and psychology. I... I don't have any uh, points for that. Wait, what was that? Sanity. Mental trauma. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Mu uh, Muse Argonne Offensive. Uh, he is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion. American units have suffered heavy losses from the enemy and allied artillery fire, forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Sanity! Stable! Confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind, you can conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. There's a lot of ones that I have not unlocked, though. Oh, this is kind of, yeah, okay. So this is the, um, the insanity meter in this, or the sanity meter, whatever. Um, in the original, oh, it might not even be the original, but on the Xbox version of, uh, Call of Cthulhu, the original Xbox can, the original Xbox version of Call of Cthulhu, um, there was, yeah, a sanity meter. So the more traumatizing things you saw, the closer you were to losing your mind. And I think in that game, even like if you had a weapon or something and you got too insane, I think you'd end up killing yourself. I'm not sure, but it was it was really really interesting. That and the medical um, uh, what do you call it? the the first aid kits took forever to do anything. Oh my god, it was a brutally hard game. I wish I had that. I don't know where it went. I don't know where my copy of that game went. Someone might have stole it. Dark water. Places. Uh, cool. Alright, clues. I got no clues. Inventory. I got a lay. Uh, I got a lighter. Lost battalion. My old lighter. I engraved the memory of the 77th Inf Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. It was in war times. Alright. Uh, oh, whiskey. Should I have a drink? Oh, there's a, uh, there's an option. Have a drink or don't have a drink. Is this going to be important? You know what? I'm an alcoholic. Let's stick, stay true to his character. You know? Mmm, that's some fine whiskey. Ugh. Give me another. Oh yeah, some barn, barn whisker. Oh, all right. Hey, it's working. I'm a little bit drunk. I don't know where I it's been too am. Long since I've slept in a bed. And my phone's ringing. I wonder why oh. I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their effects has been wearing off. All right. Sleeping pills. You shouldn't mix alcohol with uh, pills, by I'm the way. Listening. Investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency. I am! That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Okay. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh! Oh, this is like my base skill tree. Okay. Reset, add, remove, validate. Ah! Oh! Cool. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Improving your skill increases... Oh, knowledge of the occult sciences. Determining the use of origin of occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Interesting. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so everything has its place. Spot hidden. Alright, and uh... 
Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Wow! This game has a lot in it! Investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or object and picking locks. I reckon medicine might come in handy. Or occultism. Uh, I don't know. Let's go medicine. Validate. Do you really want to validate this character point? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Might. Mr. Pierce, are you still... <laughs> Just hung up on it. I'm coming. I'm <laughs> coming. Yeah, I heard the in this game the lip syncing is terrible, <laughs> but it kind of reminds me like a, of like an old school game. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. Yeah. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Well, fuck you too. You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Do you know to whom Stephen you Webster, speak? Industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? I think you're you a come douche. To me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Because you are an old fool, Sarah, right? My little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Okay. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. That's horrible. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. What but are you talking you about? Have no proof. I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Okay. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. You want me to look at a painting? I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Uh, some of it is unreadable. I can make out a part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater Police Report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Alright. Cool. You want me to look at this painting or what? Investigation! It's strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Well, she's so, crazy, she's got Mr. talent. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? Hmm. Ooh, speech! Um, investigation or professional? 
We'll find out about Warehouse 36. Where does it... Oh, okay. Uh, something's not right with this story. My husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. Okay. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I agree. Uh, you must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Visions? Saw things. What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. You're asking the wrong guy. I'm a private investigator, not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I don't know. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Uh, where did she live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I'll do I everything I'm I can. I'm beginning to understand. <clears throat> I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Yes. Quiet down. Let's do that. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Mm. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. My situation? What do you Something's mean by that? Something's queer. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. What's queer about it, huh? Oh, then again, it's 1920s. Dark so water. That's a common expression back then. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll uh, no doubt find some information on this island in there. Well. That does not look good. That does not look good. No to do. It did not look good to do. I want more drink. Give me more drink. Oh well. Can I? Oh. A learning of medicine. Cool. Um. Oh. What? The medicine and occult skills could only be improved. By objects discovered in the environment? Then how did I improve it before? Unless you're only allowed to get a head start. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go. Let's leave. Let's go to Darkwater. So this is in a different place to the last game. This is uh, not based in Innsmouth, it's based in Darkwater. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island um, of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. So, the first game that I played of Call of Cthulhu was, um, was a missing persons case. You had to look for a kid, I think? And now it's a investigating a death. And obviously a different character and everything. So, ah, it's so weird. But I'm excited. So far, it seems pretty cool. Um, apparently, this, this game had a problem with budget or something. So it's a little under budgeted. 
but I think it's going to be pretty good when it comes to volume, just as a interactive story sort of thing. I think I think it's going to be good. I have good feelings about this. Enter Madness. This is a game I've been very excited for. I'm looking at a ship! Ship on the water! Are we gonna get attacked by a kraken? Focus on me, Director Bridget! What? What are you presenting? Are you presenting a penis in my face? No? You're presenting a man having a cigarette. You know, you shouldn't get high before an investigation, buddy. A game by Cyanide Studio. Hurrah! Oh, yawning, because I'm tired. We're almost there. James Fitzroy, eh? All right. Call of Cthulhu. Nice. But it's even got the R symbol like the registered symbol in the title in game that's so weird Celia or Scylla the Scylla Skyla Skilla Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Okay. Um. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Um, an investigation. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah. Uh. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. Okay. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Oh. Ooh. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Okay. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Indeed. Ah, so there's a lighthouse over there. There's a boat over there. That's the ship I came on. Hey, can I talk to you? Hey. Hey. He's fishing. The end of the pier. Shouldn't you be on a boat? If you're a fisherman. Welcome to dark water. Ah. Interesting. What is that over there? That's what I want to know. Like, what is this? Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. We force it too much, we'll break everything. Okay. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. It looks like a whale to me. You'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to... The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Huh. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. 
They're cops. They can't understand. What? Damn is going on? Idiot. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Why? What? What happened here? They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. I am. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <clears throat> <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. All right. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. You like me? Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. What happened now, to your face? please, allow me to do my job. He's got a big scar. You can't no understand. You're not no sailors. Way. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's gonna There's something coming. All right. Well, that's shrouded in mystery. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like there's a bunch of places to go. It looks pretty open world so far. Um, I don't know how linear this story is going to be or how linear this game is going to be, but it looks pretty cool. I like it. I, I like the style of it. It's very, very um, <laughs> HP Lovecraft. It's very dark, very dank. This is, yeah, this is like, they've, they've, they've stayed true to the... Uh, True to the books, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the Stranded Whale. Alright, well, I think I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It looks like it's going to be a very narrative... Um, a, a very narrative game, so heavy on dialogue and choices. I don't know how much stealth is going to be in it, but you can crouch. And, uh, I don't know how scary it's going to be. But... It's a Call of Cthulhu game, so it's, it's going to be... There's got to be something. <laughs> it's got to be something going on. Oh, I'm really excited to play more of this. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for watching. This is Call of Cthulhu, and you're watching Scarabic Gaming. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to do me a favor. Let people know I exist. And I'll see you soon. And peeps.